What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether. On our last episode, it did not go nearly as planned. Uh, it was a very unfortunate series of events. Uh, we messed up the Pack-A-Punch, didn't get back in time, and we didn't even make it past round 12. The first elite zombie we saw just punched us in the mouth and we were out of the game. So obviously, not my best zombies performance, I promise. I'm way better at zombies than that, but I've been playing it all day. I'm exhausted. My, uh, my brain is just mush at this point. Just head empty, no thoughts, but... While I've been trying to get all these camos done, or at least close to done so I can finish it for a video, I ended up getting the Gallo Gold on accident. Uh, yeah, I was really just trying to get criticals close, so it wasn't like I had to play for another five hours and record it. But yeah, we got everything done for the Gallo. So you can see we have Golden Viper on it. So I'm sorry if you want to see the Gallo, but we still have the Howard to do, or the Hewer, or the Pump the Shotgun. You guys know the drill. We just have to get 250 critical kills. I think we can knock that out pretty quick. The, the goal is to only do videos of me getting the gun gold because it's going to be really repetitive seeing me just constantly try to run through camos and everything. But anyways, today we're going to be going for Plague Diamond, shotguns. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, if you missed the attachments last time, here are the... If you missed the attachments last time, here they are now. Agency Choke, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, 8 Round Tube and no stock and again we're using aether shroud i've leveled some stuff up let me show you guys really quick uh, i went through and i leveled up a lot of my perks i've been playing a lot so i can get them like enough crystals i just been soloing firebase z uh jug is done speed coal is done uh, i guess i'll get stamina up done never mind i don't have enough yeah i don't have enough to upgrade the rest of these i think i could upgrade tombstone and i might yeah i'll just get it's either tombstone I'll upgrade, yeah, I'll upgrade Tombstone instead of Quick Revive. Okay, so everything is, it's getting there. We'll eventually have everything fully leveled up, I hope, by the end of this. Uh, I'm using Aether Shroud. Uh, it's really just for when I'm dumb and I corner myself. It's a way to get out. Uh, I leveled everything else up because I really can't upgrade anything with the normal crystals anymore. Everything's fully leveled, so I need these, like, refined crystals and the super refined or whatever they're called to get any more done. Uh, I'm using the Cryo Ammo Mod. Here's my ammo mod tiers. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just get into it. Here we come driving in with our twin brother, who we never see again after this moment. He stays in the car. Windows rolled up, dies from heat exhaustion. But since we just need crits, we're gonna go over here and talk to him, I guess. We'll just try to get all the crits we can. But it has been so exhausting. I don't know how I'm gonna get through. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through all of Dark Aether without having to be prescribed something or put into an institution. I've been playing for like hours today, just trying to get everything done or close to done. It's been exhausting, but we can already go ahead and buy this door. I know there, so I know there used to be a thing where you can skip this first door or yeah, you can skip this first door to get to the teleporter. Uh, you can use this window, but that's been patched. Uh, oh, I did not mean to hit the nuke. You used to be able to just hop up on this window onto there, up to there, to the teleporter, but you can't anymore. Uh, I think now the new way to skip it is to run across this Aether Shroud onto there, make the jump. But that takes waiting for your whole thing to level up, and I'm not doing that. So what I've been doing is I'll buy the door as soon as I can, go through the portal. I'll usually have about 500 essence or points or whatever. Oh, melee attacks, okay. And I'll just do a trial. This is probably the worst trial you can get. But uh, before I open any of these doors out here, I'll run a trial. A lot of time it's just like kill enemies in this starting area, like the helicopter, the helipad. So it's usually very easy. This one's just unfortunate. At least it's still early game where melee kills are just two hit. This isn't going to help us with crits. But we'll do it anyways. Uh, sometimes it gives us essence. Sometimes it gives us like double points or whatever. And while you're doing it, you can redeem the reward, pick up the double points, and then just keep going. And then if you get it to the next tier, you'll still also get that reward. So you don't have to wait till it's over to pick up your reward. Uh, shout out to AP for that one. But what I've been doing or what I think is like the most optimal opening this middle door here to get this power on first because in there I'm pretty sure it's speed cola yeah I'm almost positive it's just speed cola so once we get the power on over there we can use speed cola there's also one of those mannequin guys where you can upgrade your weapons and your armor in there so we can get two of our main things right off the bat I don't know why I grabbed the max ammo I have not even been shooting but for the most part I hope criticals are easier with uh other weapons I know I've, I've gotten the hang of criticals now with shotguns, but, you know, the pellet spread makes it a little more difficult to get criticals consistently, like in later rounds and such. But we got some decent essence off that. Sometimes you can even get, like, a Ray K if you do well enough. That way you don't have to go through the whole Easter egg shenanigans or whatever. But right now, we're gonna go turn this power on. Um, 
so far i've i've been using stuns i've been using decoys i think those are very very good for soloing or like just zombies in general probably but i've just been throwing either stuns or decoys when there's a fat train trying to get as many criticals as possible but zombies are just so repetitive there's hardly like any variation to what you do sometimes like just the power the reactors change and that's about it it's nothing you know too wild so i think as soon as we get gold uh the closest round we can to exfil we will unless we're having like a crazy game we got like a ray k we can go forever and get some crystals you know that's a, that's a possibility but i think we're just chilling on this so after i get this reactor hold on i'm gonna come up here get our perk grab that speed cola pick up a few criticals oh you hate to see it that's all, the one thing i don't like about the shotguns i know they're really good for zombies let's get that upgraded so they're, they're usually really good but the spray sometimes uh you won't get a critical even if like you're aiming for it you could just if you're like even slightly off another pellet could like hit them in the chest or something and then you know you're screwed but for the most part i wouldn't say i've been flying through them because it's felt like an eternity doing this but i'm i mean we've made good progress i almost have both these guns done i've had a little bit done on them prior to the series because that's what i was using for zombies but uh, man i just hope the other weapons do not take this long because 2500 kills that is a lot zombies just takes forever so i think our next door we're not doing this one this one only has jug for us and we're gonna get jug by doing the easter egg this one has stamina up i'm pretty sure we're gonna go over here get those crits first let's go turn on this reactor goddamn mimic so easy to kill at these early rounds come down in here turn on the reactor we'll get our loose change i haven't checked any of the launcher camos or anything i don't know if i need like a crazy amount of kills like i do for all the rest of these i really hope not because launchers don't seem like too fun to do. But what I do next is up to you guys. I'm not going to be uh, upgrading my melee skill until I'm done with the launchers in the M79. Just because I can grab a few extra kills with them by meleeing with them in earlier rounds. So I'm going to hang on to that. But this is going to be a fat grind, I tell you what. All right, let's... We're going to hit the box one time. We're going to need another weapon. I don't know if shotguns work. Are you serious? I have the worst box luck when I'm recording. I, I did one quick one before i started this just to get the crits a little closer the first time i hit the box got a ray k instantly and now i i do it while i'm recording i get an rpg so that's just my luck but what i was saying is i'm probably gonna need to hit this one more time but what i was saying is i need an extra weapon to do the easter egg with i don't know if the iron sight shotguns work on the bear i can't get that that fucking thing to look at me if i'm using the shotgun it has to be something with like either a red dot or higher up on the optical you know food chain but that that little bear likes to ignore me that little bunny or whatever the hell it is oh no wonder i'm used to them going after that power reactor but there we go everything's online get the loose change here i know this room is very good for just farming you can sit here you do this zombies will sometimes come behind you but it's not a big deal well, let's go back uh actually we don't have enough to pack a punch so we'll chill here for a second uh, try to make sure i'm getting as many crits as i can once we get enough to pack a punch we'll go back let's just go back to the helicopter i'm not trying to get cornered in these hallways actually i think we'll just go to the easter egg right now the one problem I have with doing this Easter egg is it seems like I need to do it in between rounds. Like I can't do it with just one one zombie left because Frederick will just come up and hit me. So I'll do it right here. Look at me, you fucking rabbit. Look at me. There it is. Unscope, rescope. There it is. Shoot these little fucking bunnies. Uh, in case you didn't know, I didn't know this because I'm kind of a zombies noob. You don't even have to shoot any of these zombies or mimics that spawn in here. You basically only have to shoot this rabbit. By the time you shoot all three of them and the chest appears, everything just dies. Just like that. So you can come up, pick up all the parts. I kind of actually don't need to hit the box. Well, actually I do. Ooh, we got the Ray K. Nice. Don't really need to use it, but we got it in case we need it. All right. I would like to leave. Thank you. All right, let's go pack punch this. Uh, we can't afford any more perks at the moment. We'll stun them so I can pack a punch this freely. I can't remember how much perks are to start off from the vending machine. Let's see if I can get dead shot. I can. Yeah, this thing is just not fair. I know there's an armor guy in here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, we can't upgrade it yet. We can't upgrade anything yet. 
So I guess we're chilling for now. We have Pack-a-Punch 1. We have our gun leveled up at least once. We don't have enough for any cryo mods or anything. So let's just go chill over here. It's way easier to train in here. A big open space. I can just run around in circles for hours. But I think we're getting close on our crits. So we might be able to just exfil it. 16 and be done. Ooh, decoys. Okay. I'm going to train these guys up, use my stuns, get some extra points. So I can get points for stunning the whole crew. But I think decoys are definitely my favorite. I can just toss it somewhere. When I'm doing trials where you have to stay in one certain area, you just toss a decoy out, mow them all down, rinse, repeat, and those are super easy. These are all just guaranteed crits unless you miss. I tend to miss a lot, actually. Do not want that. Let's go see if I can upgrade this gun or my armor. I think we're gonna go for armor first, actually. Yeah, let's get level two armor. Can't upgrade our weapon yet. We're close, though. As much as I want that decoy, three stuns are probably better than one decoy. So let me know what you guys want to see. I don't know if you want to see just me getting Plague Diamond or if you guys want to see me getting Golden Viper on every single weapon. So I, I can do either one, but I think it'd be done a lot faster. We do Plague Diamond. I know zombies can get really repetitive and not everyone likes watching zombies. So I don't know. Uh, let me know your feedback. Also, let me know what weapon class you want to see me do next since we're going to be finishing off the shotguns here very soon. We're probably only like... I would say 30 criticals away. If I'm just spitballing. Uh, if you have any more like zombie strats, better ways to get criticals or if you recommend a class and you know like the easiest way to do it, like uh, snipers, for example, I was thinking it might be easier to do it in Outbreak because you have a little more breathing room, but I know not as many zombies spawn in Outbreak. So I don't know. Uh, it might just be easier to do them on fire. I mean, I might just be doing everything on Firebase to be honest. Die Machine's all right. Not as many elites spawn on firebase you get like two like mimics per round basically and those count for elites i'm almost positive i don't think elites are very much or a problem at all i think the the hardest part is crits and then i don't think they're that hard to get it's just very time consuming same with like uh, kills while pack a punch but since i have like all these weapons fully leveled up it shouldn't be too hard i don't know you guys got zombie strats tips whatever for firebase z let me know i think i i kind of got it down but I, I could i could be missing something we got to be close okay let's see if we can upgrade this i'm almost positive that we can yep okay we got a blue i had people telling me that i was colorblind for thinking that this rarity here let me see if i can show you this rarity here i think it's pink it looks pink to me it looks pink on the wall it looks more pink than purple i would say because if you look on the mini map that arrow is purple bottom left that dot is purple the the weapon rarity is such a lighter color than that it looks more pink than it does purple people are saying it's magenta so that's like kind of right it's right in the middle between purple and pink but i don't i don't believe you guys i don't believe you guys actually think that's purple i think you guys are just fucking with me where are we at 259 i feel like we should have gold by now oh there it is perfect right as i was saying it all right we got Plague Diamond now. There's no need to be using this anymore, but we do have an Assault Wave, so I don't think we have enough time to go and upgrade our Ray K, but let's just go do it. All I gotta do is use the little grenade launcher mode on it, switch to the regular firing mode, and it just explodes. The Ray K is nasty. That was so easy. Okay, I think next round we can exfil. Let's go back and just pack a punch this just for the final round. Fuck it, double pack it. Why not? What are we missing? Quick revive. Oh, I need to get tombstone too, but I don't have enough. Yeah, this thing just melts. They don't know what to do. I don't know if this bug is still in the game, but I've been seeing the new, uh, what's her name? Maxi? The Maxi operator. Apparently there's a bug with it where you can just, I think if you use her AK blueprint with her skin, you can be completely invisible on zombies. And I've been thinking about doing that, but it would only work for the AK and it's probably going to get patched by the time I even go to attempt it. But it's, it's pretty cool that the actual zombies person i mean i'm not too big into zombies lore but i know she is from zombies it, it was pretty cool to see that her operator skin was actually invincible in zombies so i wish i would have heard about that the second it happened because you know i would have got that that gun gold easy i would just sat there with the auto clicker on would have gone, gone and done pilates or something oh sh i almost just killed myself with my own artillery strike on xfil that would have been really bad we got three zombies left. Said so it looks like a riot down here. There's one zombie. All right, let's get the hell out of here. 
So that's a big improvement from our, <laughs> our last zombies video. We made it past, way past round 12. I wouldn't say way past, actually. We, it's three it's three more rounds, but we exfilled. We didn't die. Didn't go down once. Not bad. All right, let's look at what these shotguns look like. Plague Diamond, I'm sure you've seen it already. Everyone that plays multiplayer and uses shotguns regularly always has Plague Diamond on, but just in case, this is Golden Viper. Doesn't look too crazy. Not a big fan of it. Not really the biggest fan of Plague Diamond. I mean, it looks kind of nice. It's just very like in your face. Let's look at it on the Hure as well. Golden Viper, and that is Plague Diamond. I was kind of hyped on Plague Diamond when it was leaked. It was basically some dude in Australia or whatever who had the game early, got to play it early, showed all the mastery camos, and I was like, oh, wow, Plague Diamond looks amazing. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I know Dark Aether looks really nice. So we already have a class done. Shotguns are done. Let me know in the comments what weapon class you want to see me do next or specifically which weapon. The top comment will be what we'll be doing in the next episode. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit the like button. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here subscribe we're gonna be just dragging our way through zombies but that's definitely more zombies than i need to be playing in a day and uh yeah that's it for me i'll see you guys next time later